Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Got another stray walkthrough for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to collect all of the music sheets in the slums. Like with the memory guide, I have started a new save file here just to kind of show you that you don't need to be at any point in the main story in order to collect all of these things. You can actually do it right from the very beginning. And we will start our music sheet route by first climbing up this building here as we make our way over to Momo's house. Momo has that gigantic orange neon sign just above his little balcony there. You can see that from pretty much anywhere in this level. So that's kind of nice. We'll climb up there the usual way on the AC units. We visit this room a couple of times during the main story. And we'll get a cutscene there that I'll just go ahead and skip. And finally, here we are in Momo's place. And back over here to the left with this door with the iron bars. I think this is supposed to be a bathroom. But it's a little bit dark for the first moment that you go in there, but your, your eyes kind of adjust. But back up on that back shelf is our first music sheet. That was music sheet number one. I'll be doing these music sheets in order. So next up will be music sheet number two. Music sheet number two is going to be on sort of the opposite side of the slums from this side. Which sounds like it's very far away, but it's like basically right there. Uh, this one, um, kind of sneaky in that there's really nothing else going on on this balcony. It's not like you're coming over here during the, the main story to go inside this building. There's no interior to that building, so kind of easy to miss, I would think. And for music sheet number three, we're going to be going into Elliot programming. That was a clutch jump. Enjoyed that. And luckily, this is basically right where we want to be. So I always struggle to find Elliot programming. I always kind of run right by it because the door is always closed. But uh, this place is in between uh, the grandma robot down there and the bar. You're going to come over here and knock on the door. And by that, I mean we're going to scratch on it like a cat. And the door guy's going to let us in. And then right there on that sweet piece of art, man, that, that big old picture is so awesome to me. Well, that was uh, music sheet number three. <laughs> and uh, pro tip there, if you get that and get out real quick, you don't have to wait for the door guy to open it up on your way out. You can <laughs> sneak in and sneak out before he closes the door the one time. After that, we'll be coming over here and collecting an energy drink. Since music sheet number four will be purchased from the merchant for one energy drink. This is kind of assuming that you haven't purchased the other item for three energy drinks. If you somehow managed to, if you decided to purchase that one first, then you're going to have to go collect, you know, the fourth and final energy drink to purchase the music sheet. I'm going to assume that you didn't do that, though, so we'll just collect the one. I did collect all four energy drinks in my memory guide for the slums, so if you need help collecting all of the energy drinks, make sure to give that a watch. Shameless plug, thank you. And with that done, we will now collect music sheet number five from the upper level in the bar which is quite easy to spot, the bar that is, with that big red sign. It's also kind of in the middle of the town. We'll cruise on up here and in this middle table, on top of this middle table. Make sure to stop and meow at that guy because I think his face is hilarious. We're right there. Music sheet number five. And we'll kind of casually hop out this window. Next up, we're going to be heading towards the rooftops. We're going to be going into one of the rooms where you collect the notebooks if you've gone through a bit of the story. This is kind of funny right here. I get a little bit lost. <laughs> You'll see me spinning the camera around trying to remember which room is the room I'm looking for. I know it's in one of these three rooms where you collect the, the notebooks for Momo. And then it's right around here where I realize is actually where I just was. Going to backtrack a little bit and then we'll get back underway. I was looking for this room here with these sliding glass doors. That's going to be where music sheet number six will be. Got to hop through here and on this little bookshelf. That one's a pretty good one. Pretty difficult one to spot, I think, that is. I don't know, just from the ground level, you have a really small chance of actually seeing that. I guess maybe if you were exploring and you hopped up on top of that bed, maybe you'd see it a little bit easier, but I don't think I actually did that. Anyway, though, time for music sheet number seven, which is going to be in one of the other notebook rooms. It's going to be over here in the library. I think this is probably one of the coolest looking areas in the entire game, personally. All the clutter and 
the monitors in the back and the cool yellow light. Anyway, though, we'll hop up here on top of this piano, make a bunch of noise. <laughs> and grab music sheet number seven. And then finally, the last music sheet is actually going to be in a locked safe down near the musician. And the musician himself is going to be down here back on the ground level to the left of the uh, guardian and the elevator. We'll see him as we run by on our way over to the safe. Now the safe has a, there's a couple of steps involved in unlocking the safe, but if you're not interested in those steps, if you don't really care about, you know, knowing how you're supposed to know the combination, I'll just tell it to you. Uh, the combination is going to be one, two, eight, three. So if, if you don't care, you can just type that in and be done with it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through the steps just so you know, because I know that there's going to be, I mean, I, if it was me, I would, I would want to know. So you're going to go over to the safe and pick up that, uh, what does it say? Binary code. It's a little sheet of paper on there. And we're going to head back over to Elliot programming. So we we'll scratch it on the door yet again. And we'll be heading upstairs. Oh, damn. That guy went down so hard. And you know what? I, I probably should have checked to see if he was okay. But uh, I did not want to be rude to the guy holding the door open for me. So we're just going to slip on inside and go upstairs and get that uh, binary code decoded for us. So there it is. Doofer bar. Or is it duffer bar? I'm like 98% sure it's doofer bar. And anyway, there's a sign within the bar that says do for bar, and that's kind of your your secret. We're going to take a quick glance around and make sure that guy's not around, because uh, he might want to... He might, he might have something to say after that. Anyway, there you go, do for bar. And you'll reach up and uh, <laughs> do the cat thing, and there you go, one, two, eight, three. Just like I said. So we'll run on over back towards uh, the safe and we'll go punch that code in and then we will pick up the final music sheet. And then we'll probably do the most time consuming part of this whole process and that's turning in each music sheet. <laughs> uh, every time you turn in one of the music sheets, the musician will play a little tune, which is kind of cool to hear for the first time, but um, you know, they're not, uh, they're, they're pretty simple little songs, almost like little chip tune things. So uh, I'm definitely not going to make you watch all of that. So uh, maybe I'll show you what one sounds like, I guess, just for a quick second. <laughs> there you go. And he'll sit there and he'll play his song for a minute or so. And then he'll stop and then you, you can't you can't skip through this. You have to you have to sit here and you have to listen to uh, each song. So we'll go ahead and skip through all that. And here I am on music sheet number seven about to turn in the final one. And when you turn in the final music sheet, whichever one that'll be, in my case, it'll be sheet number eight. That definitely doesn't matter what order you turn them in, but for me, I'll be uh, getting the prize. There it is, the music badge, which, uh, you know, don't get too excited if you haven't collected any uh, badges in this game. The badges don't do anything. You can you can actually see the badge on the cat's little vest, which is kind of a cool little detail, but otherwise it does not do anything. It's just kind of a thing for bragging rights. So anyway, that's going to do it for my sheet guide here on Stray. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get back to the memory guides here real soon. Hope you stay tuned for them, and I'll see you in the next video.